Kinematic alignment originated from studies showing that the tibia moves about the femur in a flexion-extension axis, which corresponds to the axis of the cylinder that best fits the femoral condyles. The flexion-extension axis is parallel to the distal joint line, as well as the posterior joint line of the femur. Kinematic alignment restores the joint line through anatomic resurfacing, hence aligning the prosthetic component to the flexion extension axis of the knee. Osteoarthritis can damage the cartilage layer on the femur and tibia and lead to degeneration, leading to varus or valgus alignment, which alters the kinematics of the knee and the tension of the collateral ligaments. Kinematic alignment restores the prearthritic condition starting from the femur compensating for cartilage wear to reference the native joint line and cutting exactly the implant thickness on the two condyles, both distally and posteriorly, which resurfaces the femur and aligns the component to the cylindrical axis. Once femoral preparation is completed and the implant is positioned on the bone, the native femoral articular surface is restored. Every step can be verified by measuring the resected bone. On the unworn side, this equals the implant thickness minus one millimeter of saw blade kerf. On the worn side, another two millimeters of missing cartilage should be considered and subtracted. The same technique is then applied to the tibia. Cartilage wear is compensated on the worn side to align the component to the native joint line. A symmetric cut is performed on the medial and lateral sides restoring the native slope and cutting exactly the implant thickness. Once the tibial component is in place, the native tibial articular surface is restored. Through anatomic resurfacing with no ligament releases, kinematic alignment restores the native joint line as well as the limb alignment of the patient for a truly personalized implant placement.